Jesus community. Aaron Rock, Matt, L Matt Dillahunty, Tracy Harris, Russell Glasser, TJ the Amazing Atheist, Jacqueline Glenn, Griffin 9857, Christopher P. What objective moral high ground can you show me why somebody in my condition should not do the following thing I'm about to mention? That right. There's no reason to believe you got this kid. He was rising up in the ranks. He was going to be hit the big time. He had skills. He was making those contacts. And remember, anything... Never mind. It's a people business. It's not just what you know, it's who you know. It takes both. you got to have talent and connections. Well, he was certainly getting the connections. This is poor motherfucker. Went and had a motherfucking stroke. And he began to lose everything. His talent, the people who were going to see him through began to back out on him because obvious reasons. His health began to deteriorate. His doctor told him that he would get back to the normal self. Two years later, he never did. In fact, it's gotten worse. He gets up feeling good, but as soon as he gets out of the bed, he starts to feel tingling sensations in his head. Congestion in his ear. He's been to ENT doctors. He's been to doctors everywhere. All he gets is the clean bill of health. But something fucked up in his body. And these doctors cannot find out the answers. He's been on the internet. He, he's been told, and his family doctor agrees with this diagnosis, a stroke residual effects. And stem cells can alleviate most of the problems, 85%. And not only that, but it can get it back in talent that he lost in the stroke, so he can have hope. What if this kid wanted to put up his message out on social media, go fund me, and all his so-called friends, and those in the church who told him, and keep telling him, well, I'll pray for you, I hope you get better. Not a hope so, you gotta know. Or if you don't got the faith to know, you're wasting your time fucking praying. Sometimes I'm wondering if you're wasting your time praying with faith. Well, what our objective would say this kid? Because society does not give a goddamn about it. Tell this kid, if he goes to ape shit one day, finds himself a busting to uh, a place where he can find a subway and take this thing right here and just start blasting away until the cops come and shoot him. What objective moral high ground do you have to say to this kid? Why you shouldn't do that? Because, hey, when you die, it's over. Especially with what this kid has got is a terminal condition. And he is not going to live much longer. And he's found out that he has no value to the society. He 
he's not a good looking guy. He's lost his youth. He can't, he's no spring chicken. So if this guy goes out and starts shooting up people, and no, I'm not going to do this. But if he goes out and starts shooting up people, doing as many as he can, show him disgust for the society, for totally devaluing him, and then he finally gets knocked down by a bullet from the cops, so he doesn't have to live in the world of pain anymore, and he doesn't have to commit suicide. What in the hell more high ground do you have? Why should this guy not do this? He's going to die anyway, and when he dies, it's over. In a hundred years, we'll all be dead, and it won't matter anyway. We're all going to die someday. Why not now? Why not today? What the fuck does it matter? You cannot give me an objective war ground. In the reason why I should not motherfucking do this motherfucking shit. I can give myself a reason. I'm terrified that there's God and I'm going to hell if I do that. Number one, I'm not going to do it anyway because if one innocent person would die, that would. I, that would crush me. But you have no. Or there are there is no objective morality, huh? And if I'm dying, or if this kid is dying, what incentive? What fucking incentive does he have to not go and take his motherfucking gun? motherfucking start blowing away people. There's no, he's not going to go to hell for it. He's not going to have to be standing. In, he's not going to have to answer for it. He wants to die anyway. But he wants to kill as many people as he can because nobody would donate to get him get the stem cells. He can't work because he feels too like, much like hell. Every job he tries to work at he gets fired from because he's always shuffling about like a zombie on seven, eight different prescription medications. And he has to live somewhere, he has to pay rent. So the disability in SSI he's getting. I miss being young, being able to run through the fields. All the way to my cousin's house, so wild and free, playing hide and seek. You know, I need to find Dr. Oz to help kill the pain, but there's no yellow brick road to go to. This isn't Kansas anymore. This isn't the land of our. I only hope to reach him is through the telephone. Ring, 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 ring. You've reached the Dr. Oz show. If you are called to be a guest in our show, please press one. For all other inquiries, please press three. Is it too much to ask you to just pick up the damn phone? Ring, 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 ring. Answer the goddamn phone. Answer the goddamn phone. Answer the goddamn phone. Answer the goddamn phone.